makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, in a few days, uh, May 14th, all Americans, they're going to celebrate Mamma Mia Day. Only over here, they call it the Mother's Day. Isn't it a wonderful country where everybody is a stop for working? just to honor his mother. Of course, another reason they don't work is because a mother's a day is to come out on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, how I'm a mish wish you was here with me in America now. I'm a feel very lonesome for you. In your last letter, you ask me if I'm a forget how you look. Mamma mia, that's never gonna happen. I'm a look just like you. So to remind me, all I'm gonna do is look in the mirror every time I'm gonna take a shave. Before I'm a shave is a me, after I'm a shave is a you. <laughs> and then I'm also got a picture of you which I'm gonna keep on a wall. Right next to George Washington. Mamma me is a beautiful couple. The papa of his country and the mama of a Luigi Basco. <laughs> But anyway, Mamma me, I'm sending you something that's gonna make us feel close for Mother's Day. I'm only got a two dollars. So I'm think it would be nice, a nice present if I give you a pair of bedroom slippers. Of course, you can wear them in the kitchen too. <laughs> right now, I'm going to my night school class, so after I'm buy the slippers, I'm gonna finish this letter. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. All right, class, quiet, please, please. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwick? Here. Mr. Olson? Uh, yes. Mr. Schultz? Likewise. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, just say present. I will not have Tom Foolery in my class. All right, Miss Balding. Next time Tom wants to come, I tell him he couldn't. <laughs> oh, smile, everybody. There's nothing like a big smile to let the dentist see your teeth. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, today we're reviewing our spelling. And who will volunteer to spell the words bad man? Mr. Schultz, did I see your hand? Impossible. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Horowitz? If you don't mind, first I would like to see how Olsen makes out with it. Well, I know Mr. Olsen can spell it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Spalding. Miss Spalding, I would like to try now. Good for you, Mr. Horowitz. Go on. G-O-O-N. No, no, no. Spell bad man. Oh. B-A-D-M-A. <laughs> well, almost. You uh, just forgot something at the end. Now, uh, what comes after bad man? The detectives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Mr. Schultz, will you finish bad man for us? Certainly. Get me a gun and stand back. <laughs> Good heaven. Mr. Basco? B-A-D-M-A-N. Well, thank you for helping me, Mr. Basco. You're welcome, Miss Spalding. Now, maybe you're helping me. Well, certainly. What is it? You think bedroom slippers is a nice present for Mother's Day? Uh, well, Mr. Basco, I'm sure your mother will appreciate anything you send her. You're so right, Miss Spalding. To her mother, you could send even a postcard, just so she sees you remember her. You're the young Penyemini Horowitz is right, Luigi. 
<laughs> Certainly, Luigi. Every Mother's Day, I show my mother how much I love her. I take me, my wife, my three children, my Uncle Hugo, my brother Wolfgang, my Aunt Katie, Grandpa Max, and we all eat together, and then we go to the movies. Oh, that's nice. You take your mama too to the movies? No, 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 not mama. After cooking all day, she's too tired for the movie. <laughs> My Luigi, it ain't the present so much, it's the feeling. Uh, h- how much money have you got to spend, Luigi? Two dollars. Mm, your present is certainly going to have a lot of feeling. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that's not nice. Mr. Basco, I'm sure your mother will like slippers. No, I, I'm thinking maybe Schultz is right. Is it not enough for four mothers a day? Maybe I send a lamp or a dress or a... But where will you get the money, Luigi? I'm asking Pasquale to lend me some. Mm. Yo, but what if he don't? Then, Luigi, maybe you better save up your own money and send her a present on Father's Day. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale, I'm coming to ask you a big favor. Sure, little banana nose. <laughs> I'm a brought you to this country. I'm a lover you like a son. Is there nothing I wouldn't do for you, not to mention the money? Good, I'm going to need a $10. I told you not to mention the money. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want a $10 for anyway? Pasquale, this is Sunday. Is a mother's day. Go ahead, I'm a listener. I'm a like to send a present to Italy. Go ahead, I'm a listener. Some are like to buy about the ten dollars. Can't hear a word. <laughs> Luigi, I'm a no interest in a mother's day, and I don't care about a father's day or sister's day or brother's day. Only one day I'm interested in. Son-in-law's a day. <laughs> Son-in-law's a day? Yes, so marry my rose and let's celebrate it, eh? Oh. Well, Pasquale, I can see I'm not going to get a ten dollars from you. I'm going to buy my mama me some slippers for the two dollars I'm got. Oh, 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 two dollars you got. All right, go. Eh, just a minute, Luigi. Don't you know that in America the only thing people send their mothers is a flowers? Flowers? Sure, yeah. they got a big organization to take care of letting the people know all about it. You ever hear of the AFL? Sure, I'm a heard of the AFL. That's a mean American of flower lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know about this flowers idea. You want to do things the American way, don't you? Well, you know I'm a do. Pasquale, you say I'm going to have to send my mama some flowers? That's all right. Now sit down. I'm going to pick out the flowers for your mama. You think she's a one for wearing, or looking, or just to play the smelling? Well, uh, maybe you got a something that's a good for all the three. Yeah, right away you're looking for values. You're not dope. <laughs> well, let me see. For all the three, there's uh, tulips, uh, mongolias, uh, rhododendrons, uh, <laughs> uh, spetunias. <laughs> oh, and, and then then there's the flowers that they make atom bombs from, uraniums. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you're so smart Now, please, uh, tell me what the flowers I'm going to get for Mother's Day well, Mother's Day, you said only one kind of flower Chrysanthemums <laughs> Oh, I'm understanding now, Pasquale And for Father's Day, is a poppy, huh? <laughs> That's right, little bitch <laughs> Only is it pronounced the pappy <laughs> Now, Luigi, the worst news of all Of why you should get married you know what they send on a bachelor's a day? No, Pasquale. What do they send on a bachelor's a day? Poison ivy. <laughs> well, that's all right, Pasquale. As long as they don't send the roses. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I tell no, you... No, please, please, Pasquale. Thanks for your information. Now I'm going to take my two dollars and then... Two dollars. Oh, Luigi, I'm going to forget you only had a two dollars. Is it not enough? Of course not. Only flowers you could buy with little money, like two dollars, is orchids. Orchids? Of course, orchids is really for children, but after all, you, your mom is a child, so it's all right to send. Orchids? They're nice flowers, Pasquale? Oh, beautiful, Luigi. And the best part of all is they're so cheap. You probably could get about two dozen for your money. <laughs> now, look, Luigi, you get down to Romeo's flower shop just to tell him I'm a sell you and he's going to take the best to carry you. Oh, that's a good. Pasquale, I'm a so glad I'm going to talk to you before I'm going to buy my mama me something for Mother's Day. <laughs> I'm always glad to let you benefit from my experience, little cabbage pussy. 
It's a true we have a little arguments now and then, but when the chips is a down, I would have given you anything, Luigi, even in my business. That's right, Pasquale. You always are ready to give me the business. <laughs> That's a funny thing, Luigi. When I'm a sailor, it's a come out of different. <laughs> well, go, 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 Luigi. Don't forget the orchids and <laughs> happy Mother's Day, my son. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, Papa. <laughs> now, where's the telephone? As long as they don't send the roses, huh? <laughs> We're gonna see. Hello? Uh, Romeo's a flower shop? Hello, Romeo, that's you? This is a Pasquale, that's me. Hey, <laughs> uh, listen, uh, I'm sending my countryman, Luigi, down to your place. Uh, he's picking out orchids for his mother. Give him anything he wants and don't charge him anything. I'm gonna pay for everything. And uh, listen, Romeo, don't mention it to him, huh? Yeah, I, I take care of everything. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a good fix of him. After Luigi's send those flowers, he's in my debt. Then it's going to be curtains for him. Kitchen of curtains with a Luigi and my roses of kitchen. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that millions of people find helpful and enjoyable during a busy day. Keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy in your purse or pocket. Every time you need a refreshing little pickup, chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint. Chewing on a good piece of gum really does something for you. This smooth, easy chewing helps relieve that feeling of strain and tension, gives you a bit of comfort and satisfaction that helps you feel better and work better. Then, too, the refreshing real mint flavor of Wrigley Spearmint leaves a fresh, clean taste in your mouth. So always keep delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum handy and enjoy it often. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I've got a big surprise for you. I'm not sending you the slippers. But I'm sending you real American Mother's Day present that's a beginner with F and end with S. No, it's not the Frankfurters. <laughs> and it's not the fishes or the footstools. So don't look in the back of my letter and spoil the surprise. Excuse me now, Mamma Mia. I'm going to the place to buy this beginner with F and end with S. And I'm going to finish this letter later. Here it is. Romeo's a flower shop. Oh, Pasquale was right. The sign even says, Remember your mother with the flowers this Sunday. Send her a corset. <laughs> corset. C-O-R-S-A-G-E. Corset. Huh. At the must be for mothers who's old age. Well, I'm going in there. Hello, can I help you, sir? Yes, please. I'd like to buy something for my mamma mia. Certainly. We have some lovely sweet peas. No, I'm going to send her care packages. It's got a plenty of cans of sweet peas. How's <laughs> about some flowers? I want this, some orchids. Orchids? Oh, are you... Uh... Hey, you're looking at me funny. Don't you like to sell orchids? Oh, I'd love to. Who recommended you to me? My countryman, Pasquale. Well, why didn't you say so? We have some lovely orchids right here in the refrigerator. See? Mamma mia, they got us so cold they turned to purple. <laughs> I'm going to want the dose. Hmm. Well, I can let you have white orchids, but they cost twice as much. They do, huh? Yes. How much is the cost of the purple ones? Five apiece. Five? Uh-huh. The white ones are ten. Huh. Excuse me, I'm going to figure out the something. Yes. Ten cents for one orchid. Uh-huh. That's a ten for one dollar. I'm going to get two dollars. Mister, I'm going to take a twenty white orchids. Twenty? Well. What's the matter? Don't you sell less than a gross at a time? <laughs> <laughs> now, we'll wrap them up beautifully and ship them oh so well. With bows and all and a nice little card, which I'll fill out right now. To mother from... Hello, Ichi. 
Luigi what? Oh, she knows her the second name. Here, now here's the money. Oh, that's quite all right. Uh, no charge. No charge? Uh-uh. But the wife, don't you think I'm a can afford it? Oh, hardly not. Let's just say someone else is paying for you. Say your fairy godfather. <laughs> My fairy godfather? Who? Oh, I'm not supposed to tell you. No, it's not going to do. I'm going to not take those flowers unless I'm enough. Well, I shouldn't. But I guess it won't hurt. Your fairy godfather is your friend Pasquale. Huh? Now, shall I wrap them up? Oh, no, he's not the pen. Why? Because the fairy godfather's got a fairy godmother and she's too fat for me. <laughs> Here's my money, two dollars. Two dollars? Why, these orchids cost two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? For two hundred dollars, I'm going to buy a piano. Oh, you can. Well, you try putting a piano in water and see what it looks like. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm busy. But I'm going to send my mama me some flowers for Mother's Day. For two dollars? Yeah. And Pasquale has told me orchids are the cheapest of all. Oh, he did? Well, the cheapest flowers I have are a dollar fifty. Chrysanthemum. Oh, chrysanthemum? Yes, and for Mother's Day, even there, three dollars. Now, good day, sir. What's this so good about it? Two hundred dollars for orchids. Mamma mia, what a wonderful country is America, where even a flower can grow up to be a millionaire. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a gotta send flowers to my mamma mia. I'm a gotta. I'm gonna try some other flower shops and see what's happening. The Lariolas, seven dollars. Remember, mother, with a flower pot. Ten dollars. <laughs> Mother loves the flowers. Five dollars and up. Oh, what a beautiful park. Reminds me of Napoli when my mom used to take me to hear the music. I think I must sit here a little. Where am I going to get the flowers for my mom and me? Hey, bud. <laughs> Huh? Are oh, you asking me something? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to smoke. You got a match? You smoke a match, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want a light. I got my own butt. But, but the what? <laughs> a butt, a cig, a way the drag, and you understand English? Sure, when somebody is a speaker. A to... smoke, a cigarette. Oh, a cigarette. Well, why you not say so? You got one? No, I'm a donut smoke. <laughs> uh, subscriber to the Reader's Digest. <laughs> it's, uh, oh. Well, you see, it's uh, because of uh, my mama Mia. Once, uh, when I was uh, 14 years old, she uh, catch me smoking a cigarette in a barn with Uncle Pietro's uh, goat. Huh? <laughs> a goat smoking cigarettes? <laughs> Oh, my mamma mia, she didn't mind that. The goat was older than a 14. <laughs> what is this? Next thing you'll be telling me, the goat smoked a pipe. No, he's never smoked a pipe. He's eat them. <laughs> oh, my mamma was plenty angry then. Then, but she was right. Mamma's always right. Is it not true? Oh, it's true, buddy. So, <laughs> so true. I remember when I was a little kid, about eight or nine. Oh, I was just a little shaver. He was a shaver at that age. <laughs> no, it was Mother's Day. Oh, you just wanted to look nice. I guess so. It was Mother's Day. <laughs> Oh, I'll never forget it. I brought her flowers. Daisies. Daisies? Yeah. Daisies that I picked with my own little handsies in the park. In the park? I come home with the flowers. And there we was. Just mother and me. I only had one mother, you know. Yeah, I'm a figure that. She began to cry. And I began to sing. I can just hear it now. 
pen of my trade all day. Everyone else can I hear it now, too. I needed you always. That's uh, so true. Since I was a baby, <laughs> upon your knee. Oh, Mama, 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 I gotta get the flowers. You <laughs> sacrifice everything for me. Now, please, please, you're breaking my heart. Sing it, Pot. Sing it. I want to cry. I ain't had a good cry since yesterday. All right. All right, I'm, 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 I'm a try. It's a pal, pal of my incredulous day. I'm near you all the time. When I was a bumping on the feet. You give me everything that time I need. <laughs> You're tearing me apart. Mother, wherever you are, send me car fare and I'll come home. <laughs> <laughs> Crosby and Como. <laughs> uh, a cup? Uh, we was merely rehearsing some lines for Mother's Day, you officer. Well, if it ain't busted, Louie, on your way, Louie. Beat it. You got no right to talk to me this way. I'm a citizen. All right, can it. And you? But uh, please, please, Mr. Officer, I'm no citizen, but, but I'm a mean of no harm. He was a joke. All right, beat it, beat it. And don't let me catch you again or I'll run you in. <laughs> Mamma mia, everything has happened to me today. Is it gone from a bad to worse to worse? How am I going to get the flowers for Mother's Day? Oh, look at these are beautiful flowers. It's a daisies and, and, uh, and a daisies. That's an idea. Like the man has told me. I'm a pick and I send them to my mamma mia. Oh, how wonderful. I'm a just, I'm a just to climb over this little fence and, and I'm gonna pick them. Oh, how beautiful they look. That's a one. That's a two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> that's a six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Then, come on. Oh, hello, officer. You've been picking flowers, haven't you? Uh-huh. Uh-uh. All right, just stand in front of the bench, in front of the lieutenant. Vasco. You violated Ordinance 483J, picking flowers in the park. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Penalty is ten days or ten dollars. What would you rather have? To be really honest, the Lieutenant, uh, neither. <laughs> Why would you be picking flowers? That's what I'm a tell a policeman. Who was it for my Mamma Mia? Mamma Mia? Yeah. He was for a mother's day. Hmm? Believe me, Lieutenant. You and I, I'm gonna know what's against the law. Always I'm try to be a good citizen. Always I'm obey the law. Once I'm a seen a sign in the movies, as I say, smoking in the lobby. Right away I'm a turn in a fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> then it was a sign in a zoo, says it don't feed the monkeys of peanuts. I'm gonna never feed them. I'm a throw in a whole bag and I let him a feed them myself. <laughs> and I want some man on the radio as I say, buy a box of a cereal, a tear off the top of half and a send to me. Believe me, I'm a poor man of myself. 
But right away, I'm going to send a half a box of a cereal to that radio man. <laughs> you say you picked those flowers for Mother's Day. Yes, you and... Where is your mother? In Italy. Right now, please. I'm only got to my first peppers or so, so I'm only half a citizen. But some of the rest of me is going to be a citizen too. And I'm going to send her for my mama mia. And for me, every day is going to be a mother's day. Well, I don't think there's been much of a crime done. Listen, fella. It's against the law to pick flowers in the park for any reason. I've got to enforce that law. However, I'm all for you getting flowers for your mother. So I'll make it easy for you. Something I know won't hurt you. Oh, thank you, you Anna. You wonderful. I'll just find you two dollars. Huh? What? Mamma mia, I can't even say what's happened to me today. There's no word that's a mean worse than a worse sister. All the day long, I'm trying to get a flowers for my mamma mia. And now I'm not to get the two dollars, so I can't even buy the bedroom slippers. Well, I'm gonna go back to my antique shop and I try to forget it. Mamma mia, look at the crowd of people. I'm gonna go over and see what it's all about. Here comes the bride. It looks exactly like Elizabeth Taylor. Throw the flowers, Henrietta. Throw the flowers. She's going to throw that beautiful bouquet. Wonderful. Mamma mia, somebody's going to throw away such a beautiful flowers. I'm, I'm going to catch you. All right, girls, catch. Oh! Oh! I'm going to caught it. Look, everybody. I'm going to caught the flowers. Oh, good luck, mister. And a good luck to you, beautiful bride. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. We're off on the long trip. You hear that, Flowers? She's off on a long trip. And so are you. <laughs> and so, Mamma Mia, everything is come out fine. But a funny thing is, I'm not sending you bride's bouquet. Post office, you know, accept it. And when I'm going to telegraph office, they say it's not possible at all. It's the same they kind of push these big flowers through the little wires. <laughs> so, Mamma Mia, come a Sunday, Mother's Day. You're going to get airmail one dozen orchids from Romeo Flower Shop. And I guess who's the pay? Pasquale. Yeah, yeah, when he's found out what the kind of bouquet I'm caught, and next one to have it is sure to become a bride, he's a give me sixty dollars for it. Yeah, that's right. He's a bought it for his daughter Rosa. Your loving his son, Luigi Basco, little immigrant. <laughs> Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum not only tastes good, but is also good for you. For instance, chewing a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint after a meal aids digestion and helps keep the teeth bright and clean. At the same time, it freshens your taste and tops off the meal to perfection. So after meals and between meals, enjoy chewing delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Get some tomorrow morning. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is produced and directed by Cy Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Baldwin. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Friends, the Wrigley Company invite you to listen to their other program, The Gene Autry Show, every Saturday over most of these stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.